Foxy99.com exclusive as well as a Smash the Mad exclusive. I am G Money in the house. Watch your mouth. And this Sunday, it is going down. It's going to be special. It's a WWE Sunday stunner. And the WWE is returning to Fayetteville, the Crown Coliseum. Finally, they are finally coming back. And on the phone, I'm sorry, on the Zoom right now, man, this is crazy because I thought I was getting one person, but this is even better because he's definitely one of my favorites. We have got Champa in the building. Champa, what is good, man? I, I like everything about this. Uh, watch your mouth. That's good. <laughs> that is, and look at, you got the guns out. I, yes, and sir. I like a sleeveless shirt. That's my go-to. Yeah. So this is great. We got a good start. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, little known fact, um, I'm, even though I, I wrestle, uh, I wrestle also as well as uh, radio DJ and all that. So, you know, okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to look like you, man, because you've been, you've been swole for a while. You know, what I'm just, it's all about the hustle. Like you said it before we started. Yeah, you just gotta yeah. stay ready. That's that's, that's the key. right. Gotta stay ready, man. I look. I um, like I said, I do, I do a wrestling podcast called Smash the Mat, and I would, we were just saying when we were talking about eras. And I said on the very last show that 2014 to 2019 black and gold NXT era was like one of my absolute favorite eras of wrestling. And like the past 10, 15 years, man, it was, it was, it was great, man. The storytelling, the in-ring action, all that. And you were one of the catalysts for that, man. So, well, so amen for, to that, man. Cause I agree. And I, I thank you as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. So for you, how has the transition been from, from NXT to the main roster with Raw? Man, I, I love it. You know, and the first transition was black and gold to 2.0 and then 2.0 to right. this. And yep. the travel, uh, the new opponents, the fresh opportunities. Uh, and I feel like we're just starting to, to at the tip of the iceberg here, you know, getting guys with like AJ Styles and Gable and Dolph in the ring. Uh, that was what really drew me. That was the attention for me. It was, it was all these fresh faces for me, fresh opponents and matchups. Uh, so I'm, I'm loving it, man. And, you know, Bobby Lashley's another one coming this Monday. Right. It's just, it, there's a lot of uh, stories that I can tell on the main roster. And that's really what appeals to me in wrestling is storytelling. So I'm excited for it. Absolutely. So, uh, another thing going back to the transition like nxt had they had the built-in crowd at full sale and then you was at the capital wrestling center now you're now you're out in these big arenas and stadiums now i know you've been doing this longer than you've been in wwe but how how does it is it is it a change for you because of the fact you went from like this 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 rabid this rabid audience because the nxt crowd was a wild crowd man they were very appreciative to now going in front of the stadiums with more of the the casual fans like how's that how's that transition yeah it's a learning curve uh you know and i got lucky some people might think it's weird i'm saying i got lucky for this but i had a really slow burn transition coming onto the main roster and i found that to be good because it gave me a lot of reps and I've had many reps, like we said, over the years, but these are different reps. And it allowed me to do, you know, the main event show quite a bit, some dark matches, some live events, and you just get comfortable walking through that gorilla position because that's a different gorilla position, different people there walking out into bigger arenas where the crowds that oh, oftentimes, you know, I'd say the majority were unfamiliar with me. So I'm happy I got all those reps for the last few months because I'm extremely comfortable. My confidence is where it needs to be. Uh, and when it was time to go, when that green light turned on this past Monday, you know, and That's I right. saw my workload ahead of me, it was like, hell freaking yes. Like it, just ready for it, prepared for it. And uh, it's going to continue though, to be an adjustment the, the, that television crowd has to have time to get familiar with me. And only time is going to do that. So it, it'll be cool to watch it grow. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so just in case for those who are unfamiliar with champion, let's say maybe they didn't watch NXT. They just started watching raw. Oh, well, they've always, let's say they just watched raw and SmackDown and haven't seen 
much of NXT. How would you describe yourself to these people that are just getting to know you on the main roster? I'm the greatest sports entertainer of all time. And that, that's, that's, that's true. And I'm bad on the back. It is, man. Because, uh, you know, I started saying it when I was wrestling with Johnny Gargano, who to me is one of the, if not the best in-ring wrestler there is. And I started to kind of compare us as you would any feud and any foe that you have. And I was like, well, what do I have that he does? And well, I talk, I walk, I look the way I look, uh, as well as the way I perform in the ring. I just feel like overall, when you're thinking of what does the prolific professional wrestler of today look like, it's me. Maybe minus four inches. Nothing I can do about that, though. You control what you can control. Uh, so when I say I'm the greatest sports entertainer of all time, it's because I am, man. I got a really good in-ring IQ. I know how to tell a story. I know how to make everything count. My strikes are second to none. Uh, my intensity and my focus, second to none. My work ethic, second to none. Uh, so I think people are going to start to see that over the next few months. The more opportunities I get, the more times I get up to bat, the more home runs I hit, the more fans are going to understand what they're dealing with. Man, absolutely. And, and you know what? Speaking of home runs, just like you said, this past Monday, you know, you had two big matches, man. Triple threat match with Ziggler and Gable. And then the match with AJ Styles. And now, as, as, a, as a fan, you know, like I said, I watched NXT. You're one of my favorite characters on, on NXT. When you, when, you first, when you first came up, I was like, okay, we're going to see what they do with them. Now, obviously, with, with the changing of the guard and creative and everything, uh, I know it's only been a couple weeks, but have outside of what they've done with you, because like they're already giving you like you're not they're not giving you you earned yourself a, a title shot. But like from the past couple months where, where you was working in and Vince is in charge and now Triple H is have do you notice like a shift as far? I, as I like, think it's too early to, to say. I right, think it, right. you know, it's a long game. I will say this much. I uh, absolutely adored working under Vince. Uh, it's, a, it's something that any any wrestler coming up the way I came up would be lying to you if they said they didn't want to walk into Gorilla, get that big Vince hug. And, you know, and we had some good conversations. Uh, I think that my trajectory with him was going to be really good. I had a lot of faith in it. Um, but of course, with Hunter, I have a built in relationship, a lot of equity with him over the years. Um, the cool thing for me with NXT, like you said, is the storytelling. I think Hunter's second to none right now, modern era 2022 pro wrestling at, at storytelling. And we saw that Monday with the U.S. title package and that intertwining. Yeah. You also saw it with the girls, with EO and uh, Dakota and, and Bailey and how it just intertwined through the show. And it built steam and momentum. And he's great at that. And that's why I think people like yourself and myself say that era of NXT was so darn special because you could be invested in as a fan, if you invested your time into it, you were not let down. There were payoffs. So that's, I'm excited to watch how we build into uh, Cardiff, into Survivor Series, into Rumble, into Mania, you know, revisit this question come WrestleMania and we'll, we'll have a better understanding of like what, what did change, what shifted, uh, what stayed the same, you know, it's hard to tell right now. Got you, got you. So let, let's move on to this Sunday. This Sunday, hey, you got your, see, I, got the pot, I, kept my, I kept my dog out just in case. <laughs> we got the pup. He's been so quiet and good. Now he's got some barking going on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, nah, it's all good. It's all good. I, look, my dog would have did the same. You know? <laughs> it's, it's all good. So this Sunday, Sunday Stunner, the Crown Coliseum. Who are, who are you wrestling this Sunday? I don't know yet, man. I, oh. so I'll, tell you, I'll tell you this. I just got added. Uh, if I had a hunch, I would say it's potentially a preview to Bobby Lashley and myself, or maybe there's right. some tag team action with the Miz and I. Uh, but, I'll, man, I love the crowds out of the Carolinas. Love the crowds of the Carolinas. Uh, so it's cool that, uh, you know, you get that call Thursday night or Thursday morning, whatever they say, hey, you're going to be there. It's like, heck, yeah, we're going to be there. Let's get some <laughs> Let's reps that's what it's about right now, man. When uh, I, you know, I don't shy away from work. 
I, I really embrace it. I embrace the grind. So I'm excited for this weekend's loop leading into the biggest Monday Night Raw of my career. Yes. So Sunday, man, they're going to they're gonna see a focused, uh, determined Champa. And I don't think there's many people out there who are better than me when I'm focused and determined. Man, look, you had some, you had some hell of five battles, man. One of the best last at last man standing matches, seeing one of the best tag team matches I've seen back in what 2015, I believe. Like you just banger after banger after banger, man. So we already know. And if they don't know, they definitely gonna find out. We'll find out, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely for sure. Um, before we get up out of here, man, because I don't want to take up too much of your time, uh, for, for other wrestlers that you, that you see on the grinder or the guys that come in, like for, for, uh, for dark matches or extra work, like what, what advice do you have for, for guys on the grind trying to make it? Whew, man, it's, it's tough. Cause I'll tell you when I was coming up, uh, I felt like it was very systematic. And, and what I mean by that is you'd go and you would be an extra, you put together a nice eight by 10, you'd get some promo clips and stuff. And you kind of went through this process of this is how I get signed. Now uh, I feel like you're either, you become a brand, you know, Logan Paul, something like that, bad right. bunny. Uh, you have star power, you bring it to the WB. You become a, a really good athlete, a college player, NFL player, whatever, you bring that to WB. Or if you're going to come through it the way I came through it, and many of the, the wrestlers, wrestlers come through it because we love this crap, you've got to find a way to, to get a connection with the crowd. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you got to get over. And, and I, well, I don't even know what getting over means sometimes, but it's, it's a connection. It's a genuine connection. You know, and, and me and uh, Kevin, uh, Owens, we're, we're really good buddies. We talk about this so much. It's you can just tell when someone has it, and you can also tell when it's on an upswing. You can you can feel the ed energy, you know. So it's being genuine and finding a way to give your true self to the people because they see through the bull crap. They do. So you got to give your true self to them in your promos. You got to give your true self to them in your matches, and you just, it, it's effort, man. People are just like every movie I've ever seen, every sports team I've ever followed. I love the underdog. I love the workhorse. I love Rocky Balboa. I love the sweet 16 team who makes it far in the tournament. Like right. you love them because you, it's that passion. You feel it's, it can't be denied. That effort cannot be denied. It's not coachable. It's not teachable. And I feel like that's something uh, that Hunter notices. I feel like it's something that a lot of people in higher up in WV notice uh, especially at the performance center and at NXT. So when you have those tryouts, it, it's like you said, you don't got to get ready. You stay ready. And, and that's what it is. It's physically get your nutritionist, get your diet on point, put the work in the gym, have that damn promo down. I mean, that, my promos carried me through my life. Man. That's what got me my job in Ring of Honor. It's got me a big opportunity at NXT. It's going to, it's definitely going to propel me on the main roster on raw, uh, learn how to talk like you know so i know that's a, it's a lot there but no, it, no, it, it works. Be, be your true self learn how to talk invest in your body uh and and that passion it, it's not fake it, it, if you if it's fake you ain't gonna make it <laughs> you know you can't fake it till you make it not when it comes no, to that no, not in there. No. yeah yeah excellent so do you have the best beard in the business dude so how silly is it i get so many people will compliment yourself up until SummerSlam, solely for this this grand entrance with Miz and the freaking crazy new gear and stuff, I was like, you know what? I'll clean it up. Man, I, I don't even touch this thing at all. Don't trim it. I do nothing to it. <laughs> so when people are complimenting, I'm like, oh, oh great. What all right, cool. I was like, water. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I know. And, <laughs> however, I do I did appreciate uh, Yankee is the one who did it. Uh, he's on Instagram and he did a great job just making it so it's a little less crazy mid-match. Right. But I appreciate that. I think I'll keep doing it with Yankee. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. All right. Last two questions before we get out. Get out. Um, who is your who is your dream match that you that you if you haven't had it yet, who is your dream match that you like to face? Oh God. Uh if I could get Hunter or HBK to do one more, it'd be wow. one of them. I don't know if I could get that though. Uh, on the roster, that's that's feasible. Um, I never never got to do anything with Ray. Uh, 
I never had a singles match with Randy. Uh, same with Edge. The, 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 so Seth Rollins, man, I, he's on so many of the live events. That guy grinds. Yeah. Uh, the, there's a lot, man. There's you know, and then there's people that I've I've done stuff with, but just not on that big stage like Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn. I have crazy chemistry with him. Mm. Uh, if people ever got eyes on that. So that that's what drew me there, man. There's so many. There are so many. I can have, and I've had an 18 year career. I could have another 18 year career on the main roster and I could keep it fresh the whole way through. Excellent. All right. Last, last question. What is your favorite wrestling entrance music of all time? I'm going to be super biased here. I'm going to say when I came out to no music in New Orleans. Really? That's, that's really? my number one. Yeah, I, that, yeah, no. it was, that it was a risk nuclear. to do it. We were, we were slightly nervous doing it. Yeah. The payoff was you know, evident and how much people remember it. It was. Uh, for music, though, I, I love Randy's. I love Edge's. Uh, I love Hogan's. Uh, and I'll be, fair, I'll be honest with you. I know people I know people have a soft spot for No One Will Survive. I know that. But this new music that I have, people got a glimpse of it Monday. They didn't get the whole thing. It's freaking good, man. It's, it's not uh, bad. It's, it's not bad. It's, I'm, but it's, I'm not going to lie go front. I, I'm, I'm very partial to No One Will Survive, but I heard this. And I, yeah. What is? Yeah. That's not bad. And we didn't we didn't get to the pickup, you know, the whole yeah. renegade part. It started of it. The off okay. Yeah. There's a whole renegade part. It's uh there's a there's a Danzig song that it's a little bit of a rip from. Uh Ed, actually Edge is the one who suggested it to me. Uh but it's good. Uh they worked on it for like a week with me, back and forth with input. And I was like, Dan, this could be one of the ones that I think people are gonna get drawn to and catch on to. Okay. All right, excellent, excellent. Well, look, this Sunday. Crown Coliseum, the Crown Complex right here in Fayetteville. It's WWE Sunday Stunner. The homie Champa will be in the building, and I feel bad for whoever's on the other side. And then on Monday, he's going to get his shot at the U.S. title against the almighty Bobby Lashley, man. It has been a pleasure having you. Oh, what's your uh, social media, and just in case? It's so, so it's at NXT Champa, but I believe it's becoming at Champa WWE. And they might already be that. I haven't looked. I don't know. So if, if it's not at NXT Champa, it's at Champa WWE. Uh, you know, one of them things you got to change yeah, it with change the times. Man. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. man. But look, I definitely look forward to seeing you in action on Sunday, man. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. And look, man, it's going to be an amazing show. Can't wait. Hey, best of luck to you with your podcast, with your wrestling, chasing it down. I know the grind. I know the journey. I know all the bad crap you got to go through mentally and physically. Uh, stay focused, man. Stay positive. You know, if, if this pays off, oof, does it ever pay off? So just, just keep the eyes on the prize. Absolutely. Thank you so much, man. Take it easy. my, my Thank you, man. See you at the Coliseum. <laughs>